Your school, your news. We are LMTV, Linmar Television. Bringing you the most up-to-date news from your Linmar campus. Linmar, your news starts now. Good morning, Linmar. It's Monday, March 1st, 2010. And here's a look at the stories making news on your Linmar campus. Our top story. Congratulations to the Linmar speech team. Fifteen performers successfully advanced their districts at Tipton over the weekend, Dakota State. Congratulations go out to Katie Hale, Tyler Stoppelmore, Joe Getemi, Ben Scheller, Gabby Abby Wasley, Ben Pritchard, Leanna Fezova, Kimmy De Palma, and Tyler Raymond. Cheered them on at State at Prairie on March 13th. The boys' basketball team is also one step closer to State. The guys beat Dubuque Senior 56-47 to Friday night. The guys will face Pleasant Valley tomorrow night in a sub-state final at the U.S. Cellular Center. Baseball pitcher and catcher workouts begin today. The first workout will be in the high school auxiliary gym from 6.30 to 8 p.m. Check out the baseball website or stop and see Coach Lechner for additional dates, times, and location. Fortunately, the winter sports season isn't over yet. Tickets for Wednesday's girls' state basketball game went on sale this morning. Game tickets are 8 bucks. If you plan to ride the pep bus, it's another $12. Pay in the athletic office. There are no refunds. The pep bus will leave from the Circle Drive by door 10 in the south lot at 7 a.m. sharp. The bus will return home immediately after the game. You will be expected to return to class as soon as the bus returns. The Booster Club is holding a special clothing sale, not Saturday night, but tonight, 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 from 5.30 to 7.30 in the Lower Commons. And now Brendan joins us with this morning's sports. Brendan. Thanks, Ben. In the wide world of Linmar sports, congratulations to Joel Northup and AJ Garcia. They made the all Metro first team in wrestling. Josh Peterson, Tanner Regenweather, Daly Johnson, Mark Atwater, Michael Green, and Michael Green made the second team. Coach Stryker was named Coach of the Year. Congratulations to Kayla Kloffenstein, DJ Norman, and Kia Stokes. They were named to the all girls basketball conference first team. Morgan Terpstra made the second team. Kia Stokes was named Conference Athlete of the Year. Coach Brandt was named All-Conference and Metro Coach of the Year. Congratulations. Meanwhile, Kayla Kloffenstein and Kia Stokes were named to the All-Metro first team. LMTV's DJ Norman was named to the second team. Morgan Terpstra and Kylie Haynes received honorable mention. In other sports news, if you are planning on going out for girls track or tennis, sign up in the athletic office. That's sports. Ben? Back to you. Well, thank you, Brandon, for that scintillating report. And news from the counselors. Juniors, are you taking the ACT on April 10th? You must register by this Friday. Don't miss the deadline. Stop by the counseling office if you need registration information or a sample test. Do you have a special academic talent you would like to share with others? You could be a tutor. Miss Griswold is in special need for tutors for advanced math and French classes. Seniors. The Linmar Foundation scholarships are available in the guidance office. Sophomores and juniors, discover a cool career. Apply for a summer internship and earn class credit. See Ms. Zygtuma today to find out more. For more information on these stories, stop by the counselor's office or check out their website. Now Sarah joins us with this morning's Arts and Clubs. Sarah? Thanks, Ben. On the Linmar club scene, for the first time ever, Playtime Poppy is coming to the Linmar stage. Sleeping Beauty will be presented at 4.30 and 7 on Thursday and Friday, with two performances Saturday at 2 and 4.30 p.m. FFA members planning to participate in the District Leadership Contest and Convention see Ms. Lemmer soon so hotel rooms can be reserved and registrations completed. FFA members planning to participate in the regional Envirothon or the celebration of Ag Banquet at the Marriott must see Ms. Lemmer this week. Spectrum will be filming infomercials and creating posters for the upcoming Day of Silence. The meeting is Wednesday after school and room 152. All students are welcome. They also have some faculty roles in their mini movies, so if you can come, even if for a short time, they welcome your participation. Key Club is selling red Haiti in my heart bracelets to help earthquake relief in Haiti. For only $2, get a bracelet from any Key Club member and help Haiti. That's your club at Dave Ben. Back to you. That was magnificent, Sarah. Now, Brennan joins us with our lunch. All right. It's a meatball sandwich with Italian blend veggies and juicy orange slices. The other lines will offer sandwiches from Subway, pizza, chef salads, or a la carte items. In the food court, it's Subway. 
Ben, back to you. Sounds delicious, Brandon. Weatherman Gibson Acres says the ice and snow is finally going to melt. His LMTV forecast calls for lots of sun with a high of 32. Tonight, it will be partly cloudy with a low of 18, and tomorrow, more sun and a high of 33. That wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to the high school website. For the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow and make it a great day.